Hi everyone, welcome back to That's Debatable. Today I have another story time for you guys. And this one might make you look at me a little differently, but I was left with no option. So here we go. There was an era of my life where I was a little Doritos Locos Tacos and I just went a little crazy. I just went a little crazy and I was living my best life, doing whatever. I know that once I tell this story, I, I have to preface this with, I know everybody's like, oh my God, snitching is the worst. You never should snitch, you never should. I was left with absolutely no option because one thing about me, it's if it's me or you, and we're in like a battle of the death or whatever it is, I'm always gonna pick myself. I'm always gonna pick myself. But I don't care what situation I'm in, I'm always gonna pick myself. And also, I'm not in the mob. I didn't sign like, okay, whatever. Let me just let me just get this story started because I'm not gonna explain myself too much. But at this period of my life, I was talking to this guy and we're gonna call him, let's call him Alex. Let's call him Alex. And I was talking to this guy and this guy wasn't, um, <laughs> I feel like he's gonna watch it, so I'm kind of scared. But this guy wasn't, I don't want to say the smartest because that's mean, but he wasn't the brightest, I guess. And he always would find himself in situations, um, just little messy situations, quite frankly. He would always find himself in like some bad situation. Oh, it, something was always happening. Something was always happening. And this man was absolutely delusional, delusional in every sense of the way. And uh, I was just talking to him, whatever. We were just, we were just friends. We were, ew, we were just friends. And I'm like getting uncomfortable as I'm telling this story because it's just, again, very weird error for me. And whatever. The guy was actually very nice, though. I will say that he was very nice. He was always very respectful. Um, no, he wasn't. I just lied to all of you. No, he wasn't. Um, but he was very nice, and he just happened to live in a universe that none of us live in. So he would always say something. There was a specific day that he would always just like give me compliments. He was always very nice to me. But one of the compliments that he would give me, God, this is so weird, would, <laughs> ew. I hate the fact that I'm saying this on a mic, on a microphone in front of a camera. Um, she, she, he, that's a different story for a different time. He would um, always be like, oh, your ass is so fat. Oh my God. And I'm going to, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not like, it's really not. I don't have anything moving back there. Like I really don't. It's like shake them bones was made because of me. Uh, so I would just always get a little uncomfortable by it because when like you're commenting on my body and you're kind of saying something that's just not true. And now if I had a big juicy dumpy, then I'd be like, yeah, it's fat, Look, watch it move, it shakes and everything. But it still shakes, don't have, don't, don't, don't violate. I'm not trying to violate myself here because I, it, does, it does move. It's not like, I don't, I'm not working with a plank board, but um, maybe like just like a little bit of like a dent in the plank. Uh, I just get uncomfortable. So he would always say it, he would always say it, and he would say it in front of people and people would, always look then obviously he's like drawing attention to it so people would then look and be super confused as to the fact that why he was calling my my ass fat <laughs> and it wasn't fat and again I, I just want to preface this is a very weird era for me okay i'm not saying what i did was correct but one day he said it to me we're in the car and i was like um why do you say that? I was like, why do you say that? Like, I, I, that makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why you say that when it's very, like, clearly it's not. And it's such a weird, like, thing. I was like, but it just, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just makes me very uncomfortable. And he was like, don't say that. And I was like, oh, he's going to say something so sweet. Like, he's going to be like, oh, don't say that. I see you differently. Like, I think whatever. He says, I know it's not flat, but I'm trying to, I know it's not fat. I'm trying to convince myself otherwise. But by you saying that, it's going to draw more attention to it. And it's going to gross me out. So I'm trying to convince myself that it's fat. <laughs> I, said, I sat in that car. And out of all the things I expected this man to say, I did not expect that. I, my jaw dropped. I said, what did you just say to me? And he was like, just like, just let me say what I want to say. Like, again, when I tell you this man did not live in the same universe as the rest of us, he really did it. Like he genuinely did it. Cause I was like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, how are you going to convince yourself? Like, okay, whatever. Sure. That's fine. So I got furious. I got furious. And I was like, that's such a rude thing to say. Um, 
I'm telling you that a comment that you make, you give me makes me uncomfortable and you just proceeded to f make me uncomfortable even more. Like, I don't, okay, thank you. And not only uncomfortable, you just insulted me. Like, this is absolutely crazy. The only thing you could have said is like, oh, well, you know, I think it is. That's it, you could have lied. It's okay to lie, guys. I know everyone's like, honesty is the best policy. Sometimes it's really okay to lie. Sometimes you should lie. And I was just furious, I was just furious. And there was like, among other things that this person was doing, but I'm not gonna put all his business out there. Um, or my business out there, even though I guess that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, that just like really rubbed me the wrong way. It just really rubbed me the wrong way. And I think that comment was probably the last straw. Because one day, this man was also a very big, um, he liked to smoke a lot of weed. He did. He liked to smoke a lot of weed, so he always had a lot on him. And one day we were driving, and this was obviously after he made the remark about my culito. And I was... Still furious, quite frankly. Honestly, I was insulted. I was disrespected. I was like, what the, What am I doing here? Like, what the f am I, why am I here? Like, this is so stupid. This man had a bike in his car. He liked to ride bikes. I don't know why. I don't really know what the gag of it was. Um, just really liked to ride bikes. And not like mountain bikes. Like, I don't want you to think it's like, oh, wow, he's a really like nature guy. No, I'm saying like BMX bikes. <laughs> oh, God. Um, he made it his whole entire personality. Don't, again. Very weird era for me. I uh, I look back at it and I cringe now. But very sweet guy though. I'm not no tea, no shade. Very sweet guy. Um, and he would hide certain things in his bike. And at that point, weed was not legal in Jersey, so it wasn't like it. It, it was kind of a serious thing. And I remember one day we got pulled over. And the car, because again, rinky dinky car. And I'm, and this is not shade on him because my car was also a hoopty 3000, but like rink a dink car. And also it ranked in there. Like it was, it, it was, yeah, it, it smelled intense in there. Not like a bad smell, it just smelled like weed. And um, we get pulled over and I'm a little stressed because I'm like, oh my God, this man has so much stuff on him. Like what's going to happen, blah, 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 whatever. And long story short, well, no, not long story short, the cops come up to the window, and obviously it smells like bud in there. Like, it literally smells like freaking a Snoop Dogg concert, and like, we were, it just, it was intense. And rolls down the, the window, and he's like, immediately hits him, and he goes, get out of the car. And this kid I was with, Alex, is like, I don't have anything, I don't have anything, I don't have anything. Now, I am, if one thing I, I am, it's, I, especially in this era, I was petty, I was angry, and uh, he just said my butt was flat. Like, I don't, I really don't care. Like, I genuinely don't care. This man was disrespecting me, I'm, again, among other things. And when we get out of the car, he's like, do you have anything, do you have anything, do you have anything? And he's like, no, 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 no. I don't have anything. I don't know about her, though. So not only did you say that my ass was flat, you're trying to get me arrested? It's your car. And I was like, I, and I didn't have anything on me. The only thing I had on me was probably like my vape, which is not illegal. Um, I was like, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't even smoking in this era. Like I did, whatever. I was like, what? What? So then the police look at me. And again, we're pulled over on the side of a highway. And I know where his stuff is. I know where it is. I know it's in the bike. I know it's like, I, I, th I know where it is. And I'm like, okay, this is a little crazy. Um, I don't have anything. So the police then come to me. They're like, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Because he says that he's like, the way that he said it very much insinuated that I was the one that smoked this car out. And I was the one that was like packing with the whole backpack full of bud. Like that's where he, what he was insinuating. So the police go to talk to him and he's like, um, oh, he's like, oh, wh wh what do you mean by that? He's like, oh, I, I don't have anything, but like, again, I, I don't really know her like that. So I don't know, she might have something on her. He's like, th that's the reason the car smells that crazy. So I looked at the police and I was like, I am just, I'm a little girl. I'm a little girl. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. There's no way, like, what? I was like, I'm being set up dead ass. So then I look at them and I tell the police, I was like, check the bike. 
check the bike because that's his bike. That's not my bike. You think I'm walking around with the with the like a a bike? No, I'm not. It's no. Check the bike. Long and behold, they check the bike. There it is, and they're like, "Whose is this?" And I said, "Well, the car's not mine. The bike isn't mine. None of this stuff is mine." Let's let's add this up really quick. And I was like, and I you could check my bag, you could check my purse, you could check my um my pockets, you could check everything. Check my shoes if you want. I don't have anything on me. I was like, but all I will say, that's all his. And then he got arrested. <laughs> and I'm not laughing about it. I'm not laughing about it because it's not funny. But like, if you're trying to sniff, if you're gonna throw me under the bus, yes, I'm going to save myself. And I, when I posted this video on TikTok, a lot of people got angry with me because they're like, oh, you're a snitch, she's a rat, like da, da 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 I was very much prepared to not say anything. I was very much prepared to have them check the entire car, check me, check him, check whatever they want, not say anything, up until the moment that he opened his mouth and said that it was me. That's when I was like, oh, okay, well, if we're going to play this game, we're going to play the blame game, I know where everything is. So, yes. I did say it. He did get arrested. And to be fair, again, a lot of people are like, that's not a funny thing to say that he got arrested. He went to jail. He didn't go to jail. He got out literally the next morning and I had to pick him up. It was totally fine. I picked him up the next morning. Like it was, wasn't that big of a deal. He wasn't angry. He was just like, yeah, I mean, it happened. This is my first time getting arrested. Like it's fine. And I was like, what am I doing here? And that's when I realized, I was like, Emily, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Like this is not this is not the lifestyle you want. This is not this is the, this is that was the end of that era. Um again, very sweet kid, was not rude. I mean, besides the remarks that he made. Like I mean, I guess he was a little rude, but I just don't think I genuinely think he was just delusional and he just wasn't living in the world that we live in, so he doesn't abide by the societal norms. Um but yeah, he got arrested and I told him I snitched on him, and I was like, yeah, I snitched on you. And I'll do it again. Don't ever put my name in. Don't ever put my name in the mix. Don't ever do that. One thing, I started this episode with saying this, and I'll end it with saying this. If it is between me or somebody else, I am always going to pick myself. And I'm not, I'm not sorry about it. It's totally fine. And I don't even think he got any, like, charges on him either because it was – well, I know he didn't get any charges on him because he was wrapped up in some other stuff. Um – so everything was fine. If anything, like I was just defending myself. I was saving myself. And I feel like when I did post this video and it was like a very condensed story because I didn't and I hope nobody I hope he doesn't see this. And if you do see this, I'm so sorry, Alex, like you so sorry to you. But that's the truth. It's the truth of the situation. That's how it happened. Um, but yeah, it was fine. Everybody was super angry with me, but it's like, yeah, I mean, if somebody is pointing the finger at you, knowing damn well that they're the ones that did something, I'm sure that you would speak up for yourself. Duh. So I wouldn't even call that snitching. I was defending myself. That's the difference. I was defending myself. A snitch is like, I went out of my way to go to, like, if I went to the police department and I was like, guys, I know somebody. I got him. I caught him. I caught him. I did it. I'm going to bring him in for you. Then I'm a snitch. But no, I was just defending myself. And that's that story. And I'm sure he's fine now. I haven't talked to him in years. Um, but I wish him the best, I don't know, with whatever endeavors he's doing. But yeah, that's when um, I almost got arrested. That's the, is it? Yeah, that's the closest I've ever gotten to almost being arrested. And I was like, I didn't even do anything. I was just sitting in the car. So, I mean, well, that's that. Thanks for watching. I know some people are going to be really upset saying that I snitched, but again, I was defending myself. And if any, this is a piece of advice for everybody. If it's between you or somebody else, always pick yourself. Always pick yourself. Always be selfish. In this life, you must be selfish. And in that moment, I was selfish. And I'll do it again. I don't care. But all right, guys. I'll see you guys next week for another episode. Hopefully, you don't look at me too differently. I know y'all would do the same thing, though. All right, bye.